Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of CSGO News. Let's just hop right into the news here, guys. More updates on CSGO Reaper thanks to this guy on screen, Vodkax. I'll link his channel and both his videos down below, presenting more evidence as to why CSGO Reaper could be a scam. And full disclosure before we start here, if you're one of those people who cannot be convinced no matter what I show you, please click away right now. There's no way I can 100% prove to you guys that CSGO Reaper is a scam. The ultimate goal of this video is to prove to you guys that CSGO Reaper could be a scam and you definitely should be careful using the website. I think at any point in time, they can use one of their bots to actually win whatever bets they want to. And and so for that reason, you should be careful. Now also, the way they reacted to this, as pointed out by Vodkax, the way they reacted to this whole incident kind of aligns with that of a convicted criminal. They seem very guilty in the way they responded, first of which he presented many evidences out there. They blocked many people on Twitter who were promoting their website as a scam. On top of that, they also went and blocked other people on the website itself. And even furthermore, they blocked their on-website chat for several hours because people were spamming the website was a scam. Now again, that does make sense. A lot of this evidence is circumstantial because many people out there who weren't even scammers would react in the same way. On top of that though, kind of a sketchy piece of evidence here, actually CSGO Reaper went through their other bot accounts, many bot accounts they changed their Steam IDs for so you can no longer track them down. Now again, this makes sense because if you could track them down, you would mass report those bots because you think they were scamming and of course they don't want their bots to be banned, but it's still very kind of a sketchy piece of evidence there. Even further though, the most sketchy of all, it seems that some coin flip histories have been just altogether cleared out. Now again, people out there saying that at the end of every month they do clear out the coin flip histories, but it seems that many big bettors out there, people who bet frequently on the website, their coin flip histories are gone, likely because some of their coin flips were against bot accounts. That's the main reason there. If you guys see on the screen, that's a screenshot of something I did. That's a bet I made a long time ago on the website. My coin flip history is still there, just one bet in the three months time, because I likely did not bet against a bot that was probably against a real person. A main piece of evidence and people are thinking right now is they cleared that coin flip history because some of those coin flips of big bettors out there were actually against bot accounts, and they could find that out through that history. History, and so that's why they cleared it for all those big betters out there. And now even further on top of this, we also had more evidence in his video. I recommend you guys watch those videos down below in full length as well. He does have evidence that apparently CSGO Reaper set up a big coin flip for a big Spanish YouTuber, a $20,000 coin flip, which is a coin flip the YouTuber won against one of their bot accounts. So pretty simply put, they load up a bot account, they put it against that YouTuber who just coincidentally was recording a video that same time. Obviously they probably knew about this as well. And they lost the bet to the YouTuber, of course, to promote their website even further and then he goes on to show that same bot account winning back a ton of skins on the website as well which of course is very illegal so believe what you guys want to I think CSK Reaper is a very sketchy website I would highly advise you guys not to use it but there's more CSK news out there one of which does involve War Owl obviously a very known well-known CSK YouTuber out there has a lot of good videos I'll link his channel down below he's been voicing his frustrations a lot lately if you guys ever watch his live streams it seems he does kind of get messed with by a lot of players out there but not only the game itself is bothering him but also the player base he's been playing with it seems he will be taking a break he had this tweet to tweet out about guys so it probably will be a short break but again we're losing player based people and we're also losing popular CSGO YouTubers out there CSGO is definitely not doing well right now so we need everyone else out there to kind of band together but here's what you know, War Owl had to say about this and here's the anger he had to voice on live stream. I'm going to be making videos about Counter-Strike I have to be able to play the game and not completely suck at it. I have 5,000 hours in the game and I can't beat an eagle level player when I've been global elite the entire time since the damn game came out. Something happened where everybody else is amazing at the game now, or I got really, really bad. Despite all the time and effort I've put into it. So it's at the point now where it's just... Why keep going? In other CSGO news out there, we have Mike Lilly continuing to break records. The CSGO record for the most teams ever played for. And this guy is so far and above everyone else out there. I'm not sure if it's even a good record to be holding, but Red Reserve has disbanded their roster a couple days ago and actually due to internal conflict. So I'll be curious to see if Mike Lilly brings any of these players like Freddy. Freddy's definitely a solid player out there. He should continue playing with him. But we actually have Mike Lilly tweet out this, guys. A while ago, remember the hashtag 16 he used for a long time? I believe Red Reserve was actually a 17 CSGO team to play for. And he also tweeted out this the day the team disbanded so it seems he does have a new team coming soon which should be his 18th CSGO team and again I don't think it's a good record to hold but he definitely holds it guys and hopefully this next team will be more than a couple months for his contract and I do apologize for this kind of intermission guys my voice is kind of losing itself though so this is why I want to stop really quick and say thank you for all watching and especially to csgo.cash my sponsor if you guys want to sell your CSGO skins very fast their link will be down below it's my last video for them as well as thank you to my sponsor NinjaSwap as well and again if you guys can tell I live streamed all last night and 
and that's why my voice is almost gone. But thank you guys for using my sponsor. It's my last day with CSGO.cash. If you guys want to click on that link, I'd appreciate it very much. But also on top of that, I want to briefly mention that Renegade's new roster, Jay Walking or Jay Z, although otherwise known as their secondary opera and support player, has been replaced on Renegades by Nafly. Now, I told you guys on live stream as a possibility a long time ago, thanks to Scar who told me this, but just brief opinion on that, the new Renegades roster is looking very, very strong with Nafly, and I'm very glad he went there uh, to replace him. So we also have Ustilo there, as well as Nifty and JKS, and then uh, AZR. So that roster is looking very, very solid, but now back to other Jake where I have my voice guys in today's last stories. And also Evan Pone finally released some official pictures from his new map Sub-Zero coming sometime soon and also very close to being done for all of you who actually found out we actually had leaked footage last week about this. Now he seems to be releasing plenty of pictures of it. Uh, many of you I'm going to show you guys on screen right now. So Sub-Zero looks amazingly cool. I cannot wait for it to come to the workshop. So great shouts to Evan Pone. If you guys are excited to see that map, leave a comment down below if you guys are. Now on top of that, all you Optic fans out there, they have finally received their punishment for ESL Pro League. Many of you guys know they're still in the North American side of ESL Pro League with a full European roster. I thought a viable punishment would have been to kick them out of ESL Pro League. Probably a bit too extreme on my part, guys, but they will be paying, according to ESL Pro League and HLTV, 10% of their prize pool earnings, whether it's through group stages or even if they don't make playoffs or whether they make playoffs or not, 10% of their earnings from ESL Pro League will go back to the Pro League itself, and that will be their punishment for playing in the North American side of things with a European roster. So definitely a nominal amount there. I think probably a pretty good punishment for them playing the wrong side of the league. Now, on top of that as well, we we have a further story out there you guys probably will not care about because you guys probably have never heard about Team Denial. Actually, I had a story about them a long time ago, which also involved payments. And according to this guy on the screen, a tweet that came out, apparently Denial has not played their members since last May. And I actually confirmed this, guys. I knew players formerly of Team Denial who were being paid ridiculously low amounts salary-wise. And even then, their salary amounts were so low, but Denial was not even paying those salaries out. And so it seems it's definitely been confirmed as true. They have not paid their players since last May. And on top of that, their current roster is also not being paid. So god dang, Denial, just pay your players. It's not that hard. I know what they're making. It's not that much. And that's going to do it for today's episode of CSK News. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Last night's stream was incredible. I, I really, I love Friday streams. If you guys don't know, on this channel, we do Friday YouTube streams where you kind of drink a little bit, open some cases, and have some fun. And you guys are so amazingly generous. It makes my day, but it also makes my head hurt the next day, if you guys maybe understand that. Hope you guys all enjoyed. I'll see you guys all tomorrow in a couple days with some more live streams and CSK News. Hope you guys all enjoyed. And as always, that's my outro. I'm out of here. Uh, see you guys.